what you see here is an introduction to the experiments that I'm going to show you. It partly serves as a reminder of conjugate planes and partly it's just a little bit of fun um, and it gets you familiar with what the two halves of the screen are showing you. My microscope is fitted with two video cameras, one showing you the back focal plane of the objective which appears at the top of the screen and the other showing you the final image plane which occurs at the bottom of the screen and as you see I can wipe between the two showing you more of one and less of the other as appropriate. Um, what I have is a little mini picture of ABBA put into the back focal plane of the objective and a small photograph of the Carl Zeiss emblem put on the stage. You'll see that these are both present in the microscope simultaneously, yet you're not seeing any of Abba's whiskers mixed up with the Carl Zeiss emblem, nor can you see the shape of the lens that Carl Zeiss is written within superimposed on Abba. This once again emphasizes the separateness of the two sets of conjugate planes. Also behind Abba, since he's in the back focal plane of the objective, you can see the filament of the lamp which should be imaged there and you see no sign of the filament of the lamp in the um, image plane as curler illumination would um, arrange. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Let's deal with the easy bit first. That I've put the Carl Zeiss emblem on the stage but you notice Jena is somewhere else. That is positioned in fact down near the illuminated field diaphragm. So that's one reminder of conjugate planes. If I move now to the back focal plane of the objective, you'll see, as I said, that Abba's picture is in the back focal plane, but his name is somewhere else. I've put that in a conjugate plane, namely in the first focal plane of the condenser. I'll be putting various diaphragms into the first focal plane of the condenser. I'll be putting other things in the back focal plane of the objective as time goes on. And we'll be having a look at the effects of those on the final image, which occurs at the bottom. In putting this equipment together, I thought that ABBA, if he were still around, would prefer to be put into the back focal plane because the things that go on in the back focal plane were very much his claim to fame and his business. One might suggest that Carl Zeiss, the businessman, was really, in the end, only concerned with the quality of the final image, so I've put his name at the bottom um, where the final image occurs.